Hello, 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 and welcome to another episode of Crazy Town Gaming. My name is Jonas, I'm your host, and I'm here with TNT Dynamite, the explosive one, Jonas, you're the man on stick. I have them. We're playing Madden 19, Lizard Face. <laughs> lizard Face, that's not a term of endearment. It could be. <laughs> I guess. What if, like, what if everybody else called you fucking Stonebrow? <laughs> you might be in the lizards. <laughs> All right. Uh, as always, playing uh, offense only, sipping that D, using that balanced playbook in this Mad 19 relocated Toronto Mounties franchise. Uh, TNT Dynamite, it's the last game of the regular season. We're not undefeated. <laughs> We're not. Undefeated. We are not undefeated. <laughs> oh, man. You want to know what else is kind of weird? This, well, this game? What's that? Bo me. You, the Mounties, and the Dolphins, we're both 14-1. and one. They're just as good as we are, so we may lose another We've game. We've already beat the Dolphins, though. Not in this franchise. Are you sure? I'm 100% positive. They're not in our jurisdiction? They are not in our jurisdiction. You're absolutely correct. I feel like they should be in our jurisdiction. Uh... No. It doesn't hurt our playoff chances if we lose, though. No, still, no, it does we, not. We clinched. We are definitely in the playoffs, absolutely. Um, but if we lose two games, we're just going to be losers then. <laughs> what? How does that work? Uh, because winners win and losers lose. I mean, it's pretty simple, right? How many times did your your favorite team in the NFL, how many games did they lose? Uh, last year, the this, Browns lost 16. I wasn't talking about the Browns. No, exactly. So every single one of them. <laughs> I was talking about your other favorite. Oh, the Patriots? Yeah. Uh, I don't. I don't know. Like three or four or something. Oh, oh, look at it. Oh wow, if yeah. Tom Brady can lose a game. Guess what, Jonas? We can lose a goddamn can game we? too. Can we lose all the games? I mean, we already lost the game. So. I know, dude. It hurts my face and my heart. My face and heart are both broken over us losing one game ever in every <laughs> out of game. out of a hundred. Not quite, but close, yeah. But you said like 80-something, right? Yeah, I mean, we average about, say, 20 games a season if we make the Super Bowl, and we've this is like the fourth really coded franchise. So, yeah, not to mention the all the ones. I have lost some of the Browns, the Browns franchise. So Like recently? Uh, Yeah, the last couple seasons I've lost at least a game. Mm. Yeah, man. I, they all can't be winners. You're losing your touch. I don't have the TNT Dynamite uh, touch. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> you want me to touch you? No. No, man. When uh, our witty banter keeps me going. Oh, I'm so, wait, maybe I should say, do you want me to anoint you? Oh, I just got sacked. Guess what? Things. Are, it's the the same shit's happening. The, what? The We're game's kidding, happening. We're continuing to getting sacked. There's only like three things that could happen <laughs> when you play. <laughs> when you make each play, you can turn the ball over. You can gain yards. You could not gain yards. Congratulations, you did. <laughs> wow. You, have you just put football into the simplest form anyone ever has. <laughs> I mean, and it's so true. It is. It's like you can either you either get a yard, lose a yard, or nothing happens. <laughs> or you give the ball away. Yeah, yeah, that's the only thing that happens. Yeah, that's pretty yeah. All right, man. You're uh, <laughs> Man, that's that's the logic. Everyone right just there. is gonna stop watching. Everybody's every like, man, football is meaningless now. <laughs> yeah, right. I mean, I guess every sport's that way. Basketball, you either like, you either give it to the other team, it either goes in the hoop or it doesn't go in the hoop. <laughs> I mean, that's really it, right? Yeah, life is pretty much like that. Yeah. You either live or you die. You know, <laughs> every day, yeah. it's a struggle. Do you like, do you get to live today or do you get to die today? I guess getting to die isn't really a bonus. I mean, who you're, that's who you're asking, I guess. <laughs> Depends on your, your level of optimism, I guess. <laughs> yeah, your disp general disposition on life. But yeah, man, so it, it's all right, man. We're going to get sacked, and we're just got yeah, to we gotta get more forward progression. When they we get sack sacked. us all day and sack us all night, but you they, know. But they haven't this they, game. I mean, you're right. You were ta you're talking about, like, games that happened two days ago. Dude, games that happened days ago hurt my heart. Do you live in the past? Um, Sometimes. Yeah, when I'm really? stewing over losses past. Well, that's sad, Jonas. I'm like... If I would have just thrown the ball one second sooner, it wouldn't have been intercepted and we would have won. If I would have swat, swatted Stretch Armstrong's nine-foot-long arm to intercept the ball before the tip of it. I admit that if you were better at the game, we would do better. Oh, I'm trash. 
<laughs> what do you mean? I'm not saying I, you're I mean, trash. I'm not trying to say I'm good. I'm saying like if you were like world class Madden champion Diego, right? Then you would. Okay. Woo. I don't, was that his name? I just made that up. Oh man, that'd be awesome. <laughs> but, if his name was Diego, wouldn't it be? It's, yeah, but if you were him, then yeah, man, you would be like. If I was, if I was the Rock. You were Diego, right? Who is the Madden Championship? You don't know? No, nah, dude, it's not. I'm not that into the game. I don't know anything about like the Madden tournaments except for that shooting that happened a while ago. And oh boy, somehow it automatically brought us to the line, and I'd waste the time. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, dude. That well, I guess like yeah, that was sad. Like <laughs> those kids just showed up to play foosball on an arcade machine, and next thing you know. I know, right? Next thing you know, it was rat a tat tat. The Madden Classic. Oh, and he spins him out. He made his mother call him a workhorse. A workhorse. He was like, "Your mother calls me a workhorse." It looks like his name is Young Kiv. Young Kiv is that a rapper? Or Michael Skimbo? <laughs> Are those the ones that perished in the shooting? <laughs> He was no, what? <laughs> what? No, he's the Madden Championship. Oh, okay. Michael Skimbo. Michael Skimbo. Yeah. Well, remember that card game? It was called Skipbo. I do remember Skipbo. I don't so, remember how to play it. I just remembered it was alive. I 100% remember how to play it. It was like a, it was like an, an uh, Uno offshoot. U Uno-ish game. Yeah. What's what's the Skipbo part? <laughs> what? Like, what is the bow? I get what skipping is. <laughs> the bow. <laughs> holiday, holiday. Get it in the you, where you, you want it. Where's he going on vacation? Where's his holiday? You go. One, two, three, go. One, two, three, go. Where's he? <laughs> what's skip bow? But what's the bow? <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> Did you do a line of cocaine before you came in this room? No. Are you hiding coke in your room? I swear to God, let me catch you doing drugs, <laughs> young man drugs. in this household. No, Galladay caught the pass. He was on holiday. I asked you where he was going. <laughs> and I looked at you like you were a madman. Right. And then I went back to the skip boat question. If it walks like a duck and talks like a fucking duck. <laughs> I think you're crazy. All right. Um, I don't know, dude. I remember playing Skippo. There was a certain card you had to go from 1 to 12, and you had to, like, get the cards before your teammates did, and you had to have, like, four pals of 1 to 12, and then the Skippo oh. cards could be any number, so you get the Skippo that number in your line. But yeah, mm. I used to play that with my family all the time. Um, You know what other game I like? Phase 10. Where one, you like that one? I never played. That one, maybe, you have that one over there. Right? Yeah, it's on the table in the crazy count compound. That that game will make you hate people that you like. I already hate people. <laughs> yeah. Oh, holiday! He's going to a holiday. Oh, right now. <laughs> just the one arm. He just like wiggled and flexed one arm. That's it. The one arm um, motion. Because like that's the game. It's kind of like Rummy, where like each person has a goal to get a certain thing, like three of a kind or a straight or whatever. mm Hmm. And, like, once one person gets that phase in a turn, that round is over. And the other players have to try to get that phase again. And that, the next person moves on to the next phase. So you're like, oh, man, I've been trying so hard to get me a three of a kind. And you have two of a kind and two of a kind and two of a kind. And they're like, bam, three. And then he just shatters your fucking <laughs> dreams. Yeah, man. It seems like card games are kind of antiquated. But they do have, like, cards of humanity. Yeah, that game's fun, but you know it's basically like Quiplash. <laughs> yeah, but it's like cards. And cards. Yeah, it actually like what was funny is I I played oh god, I died. I played uh I played Quiplash before I ever played Cards Against Humanity, mm -hmm. and then when I played Cards Against Humanity, I was like, this is kind of boring compared to Quiplash because <laughs> Quiplash has like way more like. A non, uh, way more variety to it because, because it's all just like whatever you think you of. Want. Yeah. Well, I don't know. I, I don't know. I guess. It's fun, dude. I there's, get it. There's another game that the makers of uh, Cyanide and Happiness. I don't know if you're familiar. They do like I've the, heard of that before. All right, they do like the little short cartoon shorts, but uh, they have a game out that's kind of like uh, Cards Against Humanity, except it's like it has their comics in it instead. Oh, I got you. Like that little cartoon that like. Oh God, he just got dead. Yeah, they have like they have like a guy who kind of looks like Terrence and Philip, right? Like a fucking flap jaw, like yeah, cartoon guy. Kinda yeah, kind of like that. Yeah, kind of like that. I actually subscribe to their YouTube channel too. Oh, they have one. That's cool. And they put out shorts like pretty regularly. If Galladay was going on holiday, where would Galladay go on where his holiday? 
put him on holiday. Where are you putting him? If he was taking. I mean, this is this is in America. We don't call it going on holiday. But if he was like from the from the land down under or, or on the the old cross the pond, where do you think that he would go? Be going on holiday. <laughs> We're going to talk hypotheticals now. Yeah, dude, about for where an I'm, imaginary when person. When we win the Super Bowl, where's Galladay going on? All right. <laughs> uh, I think that this hypothetical situation for this imaginary individual, he He's would He's a go, real man in life, though. Yeah, but. Kenny Galladay is he real. He might as well not exist because I'm never going to meet him. I'm going to make that happen. Just He's going to make it on. happen. I'll be like, Kenny Galladay, you need to meet TNT Dynamite. Like, and he'll be like, like I'm, on right. my, I'm on my deathbed. And <laughs> Wow. And I'm like, I only wish <laughs> that I had one thing. And you're like, Kenny Galladay. And you just put your finger over my lips. And you're like, shh, don't talk. <laughs> you Save you your strength. <laughs> you don't have to tell me what it is, dog. I and know. And you just bring them in. <laughs> and you're like, oh, wow. That's, oh, boy, our fullback, McBlock face, got the, that was the worst return anyone has ever done in the history of life. Eh, I don't know about that. But it okay, was you're bad. right. It wasn't. <laughs> I've seen you knock the ball out of people's hands. Dude. That's where I'm my strongest. <laughs> I think he would go to my favorite vacation spot in my bedroom. Wait, I don't like the way that came out. <laughs> I was going to say, you want Kenny Galladay to go to your bedroom Stop. on his vacation? <laughs> I mean, I guess it works. No, I don't want him to go there. He goes to your bedroom. I don't want him my, my second bedroom. favorite my vacation second favorite spot. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, shit. We're losing, by the way. Thanks. <laughs> that's, uh, that's something that we should rectify. I'm going to do that now. All right. Well, I, I didn't know that I was trying to win, and now I realize that. Oh, yeah, yeah. You should probably win this game. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I know, man. Oh. I forget sometimes, too. Sometimes I'm just like, what am I doing? Oh, I'm winning. Not really. I'm trying to. <laughs> wow, that guy's a piece of shit. <laughs> wow. He waved to me. He went, throw me the ball. I threw it to him, and he watched it hit the ground in front of him. It's like he doesn't even realize that this is what he gets paid to do. Ain't that the story of his life. <laughs> oh, what do you got up your sleeve? I oh, I'm taking him. I'm taking him deep. I hear some quiet tic tacs of the controller sticks. Saquon! Nope, it's not even Saquon. It's Galladay. He's going on. Push him down. Wow. Nope. That dude was ruthless. He felt That's all right. he felt the rumble in his down under. It's all right, man. He still gave up the yards. That's all that matters. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I guess that's right. If you were going to go on holiday, where would you go? My bedroom. <laughs> or your bedroom. <laughs> my bedroom's off limits. <laughs> Boys are off limits, and my bedroom is off limits. I think I've been in your bedroom maybe like five times in like the year and a half that we've been living together. Yeah, I think so, man. Yeah. That's really like, I feel like it's only been about. And I think most of them would be like, hey, can I look at this outfit in the mirror before I go out? Because <laughs> I got full length mirror and you don't. Why do you, why do you have to showcase my vanity? Dude, I mean, who doesn't look at their outfit before they go out, though? Yeah, but, like, I don't know. You make it sound like I'm just, like, this Popping shallow into, like, little basic bitch that is, like, I need to check out my I don't think boots. you're... No one has tried to... You're... You have, like, internal basic bitch voices that make you feel this way? Because I wasn't insinuating that I think at all. We all. I think we all have an inner basic bitch. <laughs> we, everyone loves pumpkin spice latte Dude, in their heart. Dude, fucking who... Honestly, Dude, fuck I hate you it. if you don't like I fucking pumpkins. hate pumpkin. Everything. You're ridiculous. Pumpkin pie, pumpkin fucking spice like latte, pumpkins? pumpkin muffins, pumpkin... Fucking, I hate pumpkins themselves. You don't like pumpkin and stuff? No, dude, I don't like pumpkin stuff. It's gross. What? Gross. It's oh. a fruit. Oh, it so isn't. It, what do you mean it isn't? It's it a, really is. It's a pumpkin. It's a fruit. It's a gross. There's, I don't, I don't think like there's any really bad anymore. fruit. What? There's no bad fruit. Pumpkins, then, I guess. <laughs> Pumpkins are fucking nah, dog. I'm good. <laughs> nah, dog. Oh, I pushed him off like his mother. Honestly, I'm I'm kind of surprised at you. I don't like pumpkin. Yeah. Dude, that shit's gross. It's crazy. I've never heard of such a thing. Uh, there's a lot of people who don't like pumpkin. All the cool people. Um, I mean, no. yeah. No, I mean, if it d isn't liked, then why is it so popular? Because everyone wants to fit in. Boom, Mike dropped. <laughs> Nobody wants to fit in, and they're like, well, I guess it's that time of year. I better just <laughs> I guess I better some. eat pumpkin, or everyone's going to think I'm a bitch. That's how yeah, I feel they are. Exactly. I think the surgeon is ready to operate. 
Do you like uh, what do you call that? That uh, avocado peppermint. No. Do you like when they do the peppermint shit in the, win- no, in the winter dude, time? No. You don't like no. peppermint milkshakes or no. anything? No. Uh uh-uh. uh. I don't really like peppermint. <laughs> wow. Period. What about the shamrock shake? Nah, dude. I'm you good. don't fuck with anything fuck seasonal. With, no pistachio. Uh uh-uh, uh. Get out my face. I'm what cool. do I fuck with seasonal? I'm cool. With I don't like Christmas ale. I don't like pumpkin. I don't like fucking uh, whatever you just asked me if I like because I don't like that either. You like Easter eggs? Oh. No, I don't like hard boiled eggs. What are the, what's the Easter You know what I do like that's seasonal? Easter flavor. The sweet tarts that are shaped like bunnies, ducks, and chicks, but they're still sweet never tarts. never even heard of this such a thing. That's really good. I know what a sweet better. tart is, but I've never seen them shaped. It's every season they come out, they have like hearts and they have like whatever. The ones that are shaped like fucking ducks and bunnies and chicks and hens. Ooh, talk about rocking your fucking You mean world, it's man. just a sweet tart that's been cut into an animal shape? Yeah. But it's and like, it's different thicknesses. <laughs> you oh my God, Russell, what happened, dude? Oh, he hustled too hard and ripped his goddamn neck out. Oh, of course. Yeah, dude. Because like a normal sweet tart is like a a circle, but it's like poof, it's like poofed out. Has a has a little S drawn in it. What? When you when you shape them like a bunny or a chick Jonas. or a hen, Jonas. they press them a little harder. They're a little more crunchy. Jonas. Yeah, dude. Do you have object permanence? <laughs> Do you understand that it's the same flavor as dude, the other thing? You, you, you I understand one. texture is important, and the way that something feels in your mouth can add to the... the oh, yes. my God. He won it. Rhett is amazing. <laughs> He's free, man. Uh, the texture does... It, it, <laughs> In, enlighten my soul. <laughs> no, I understand how something feels in your mouth can add to the enjoyment, you, the experience of eating it. Right. But a sweet tart's a fucking sweet tart. Man. Nah, dog. Nah, dog. Nope. This is like this is like uh, kindergartner logic. <laughs> know, they're right? like they're like I don't like spaghetti, but I like fettuccine or some shit. Yeah, like I don't like bananas, but when you put them in a banana split, they they're okay. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, not man. even that deep. It's like you're basically saying the shape of it is what <laughs> changes the whole thing. It's like I don't like macaroni, but I do like ravioli or something. Yeah, I don't I don't like chicken nuggets, but I love the dinosaur chicken nuggets. There we go. That's <laughs> it. That's basically what you're that's saying. What it is. Yeah. <laughs> that's what it is. That's like the I best. I knew experience. we were going to get to one. We were going to get there eventually. <laughs> yeah. All right. As long as you realize. You're yeah. Oh, no. I realize it's stupid. <laughs> I mean, I'm just being. I'm just kind of. I mean, what, they are good, though. What about peeps? Nah, dude. Yeah, I don't fuck with peeps. Those Dude, I don't do gross. anything seasonal. I guess I'm like a fucking anti-basic. No, I mean, well, peeps are fucking disgusting, so it's, yeah, it's they all are. right. Whew. You know, like, I just I want, I just want the, for us really to come like back to... I don't really eggs. No, nah, they're gross. You know what is different, though? Snickers bars compared to the Snickers eggs they put out at Easter because they use soft caramel in the eggs like in a caramello, and when you do normal Snickers, it's like that harder, thicker... Um, I'm not a candy bar guy, though. Like I'm trying to explain to you. I haven't had a Snickers in But years. do you know what a Caramello is? You know how thin and, like, wispy I mean, it is? I guess. I don't know. I haven't had a candy bar in, like, ages. In ages? <laughs> it's been a very long time since I've picked up and ate, eaten a candy bar. I didn't even fuck with them during Halloween because... Oh, no! This ja- is bad. Dude, we're going to lose. We're going to lose. We're going to lose again. Why are you fucking turning the ball over in the end zone? Because I'm a piece of shit. Oh, we did it, though. We, we didn't. We did, did, didn't? Well, we, were, we still got to play the game. <laughs> I mean, the game needs to play. We haven't won yet. Well, well, I'm working well stated there. Well stated. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't like things. Yeah, I don't know. I don't fuck with candy bars or sweet, sugary drinks or anything like that. Oh, fuck a sweet, sugary. Oh, Saquon coming through in the clutch. Partially because I want to live. Oh, you oh. turn went all the way down. What are you doing? I'm telling you, man. He's what is that? I don't know. What is he an Oompa Loompa? <laughs> what he, do you get when you get a touchdown? You put your fingers on the ground, bend turn. your knees. Right, take it up. Take it away, there, fucking. <laughs> And say please, cause you want to say, oh jeez, we are the winners. Oh, we won again. <laughs> oh, we won the game. No, we didn't. We we're losing. No, dude, we gotta just win better. I know we aren't losing, but I like to pretend. 
Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. What is going on? I don't know. Looks like you're performing poorly. <laughs> he ran, I ran in a circle. Dude, you're gonna make us lose. I'm trying to make us lose. Willy Wonka kidnapped some dudes, dyed them orange, and put them in a brood. Uh, huh. Yeah, dude, that's what happened. I've never heard that story. Oh, yeah, it was the kind of story that, um, this is the story of a girl. You know, really, speaking of sweets and Willy Wonka. Oh, and Saquon is going nasty. What about it? You know who is the worst character in Willy Wonka? Willy himself? No. He was pretty bad. He's he's like a close second. Who who's the worst? The worst character is Uncle Fucking Joe. Oh yeah, who Grandpa sat Joe. Sat his old ass in Grandpa the fucking Joe. Bed, whatever. He sat his fucking ass in that bed until somebody came along with a golden ticket. Now there's a trip to Willy Wonka's factory, and oh, all of a sudden you can walk and you're perfectly fine. You piece of shit, get a job. I know, dude. Buy your Charlie's own fucking walk of crunch. Like washing and cooking for him. He probably had bed sores and shit. He was just lazy. I'm telling you. Dude, we... Oh, my God! He just grabbed him like a fucking sack of taters. Oh, Jesus. He just Dude. broke his limbs. They're they're keeping up with us. They're keeping up with the Joneses. <laughs> I mean, not really. We almost scored right fucking there. Well, only because Saquon is fucking the beast master. Yeah, well, the, the most they can score on the touchdown is like eight points, right? And we're up by three. Yeah. As long as I don't throw another fucking interception. Yeah, that would be helpful, too. Oh! That dude is un incredible. He's too much. Yeah, well, we need that's him. That's the reason we the lost, the team because is. we didn't have him. Uh, probably. That's probably true. Uh, not a probably. Because he has scored, what, like four touchdowns in this game? Uh, yeah, he just keeps running. I think he has, like, 300 some yards rushing because he's just good. <laughs> and there it is. He decided that this was his game to win. So they got a chance to score here. Yeah. Good chance they won't. And then we get the ball back. Oh, no, we nope. won. It's over. So that's even better. Yeah, it's because Miami's a bunch of bitches. Yeah, so, yes, bottom line of this episode, pumpkin is trash. Seasonal foods are crap. Fuck Grandpa Joe. Fuck Grandpa Joe. TNT Dynamite's favorite vacation destination is Jonas's bedroom. <laughs> all right. <laughs> <laughs> all right. That is all the time we have for today's episode. Please make sure to like, share, and subscribe. While you're at it, lie to your friends. We all know this isn't worth watching. <laughs> Tell them it is anyways. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> I mean, it is worth watching. <laughs> for Jonas. For TNT Dynamite. Mm. We... We'll run through. Oh. So get the week off and get